I think one of the other things that um, that comes up for me when we talk about this is kind of demystifying suicide and suicidal thoughts a little bit. Um, because in my, in my experience, suicidal thoughts, like many aspects of mental health, like anxiety, depression, are, are also on a kind of continuum. So there might be like, you know, it might be, there's a, there's, there's a spectrum of, I'm going to take my own life tonight, I don't know how I'm going to do it, to I feel lost and I feel helpless, and I feel like I don't want to wake up in the morning. Like I've thought that I don't want to wake up in the morning when I felt really when I've had really poor mental health, um, and in and that I never thought about how I was going to take my own life or when I was going to do it, and I never even thought about doing that. But you know, I didn't want to wake up the next morning, and I was kind of saying stuff like to my girlfriend, like if it stays like this, I don't know if I want to do it anymore, which isn't. I'm not. I'm not for one second saying that I was like deeply suicidal, but that was fatalistic thinking and and it, and it starts there so and I remember when I kind of opened up about that online like that re- really resonated with a lot of people because not that there are more people who can resonate with the feeling of I feel helpless and hopeless and stuck and I don't want to wake up tomorrow than there are that can that can resonate with the feeling of I'm going to take my own life using this method tonight so um to me I think it's important that we that that we share that and and to know that like a suicidal thought could just be that it could be I feel completely helpless because to me that's quite that's quite liberating to know that actually there are millions of people who felt like that I imagine anyone in this office or in this room is can resonate on that level on I don't want to fucking wake up tomorrow because I hate my life the loads of people who can relate to that and and that that's a suicidal thought in my in my mind and that's not a bad that's nothing to be ashamed of that's just part of the human condition so i feel like if we can kind of um yeah kind of open up suicide a little bit and if, then i think it hopefully it would feel a bit more relatable to people or again rather than creating this distance